Since its release on Friday, January 5th, the internet has been devouring and dissecting Michael Wolff's book, Fire and Fury, inside the Trump White House. The book claims to offer a closer look at President Trump's first year in office and, many hope, incriminating evidence that he is unfit to continue serving. While some of the revelations are rather serious, others are somewhat humorous, if not sad. While the White House has denied many of the claims made in the book, one of them has been verified, sort of. Donald Trump's love for McDonald's was confirmed by his daughter, Tiffany Trump, so maybe there's some merit to those other claims, too. Let's back up for a second. In the book, Wolf points to the, the president's longtime fear of being poisoned as one reason for his preference of fast food. He liked to eat at McDonald's. Nobody knew he was coming and the food was safely pre-made, Wolf writes. On the day of the book's release, President Trump called Wolf a total loser who made up stories in order to sell this really boring and untruthful book. But apparently, Wolf did and he make up all of his stories. On Friday, January 5, TMZ posted a video of Trump's daughter, Tiffany, in Los Angeles. In the video, a TMZ reporter asks Tiffany about her father's love of McDonald's, which she confirms. TMZ on YouTube that's what he does, he loves McDonald's, Tiffany says, getting into her car. Before she leaves, the reporter asks her if her father does, in fact, eat the fast food every night in bed. He wishes, right Tiffany says, laughing. There has been much debate about the accuracy of the claims made in Fire and Fury. However, President Trump's love of McDonald's traces back far before the release of this book. The Hill reported that he was frequently seen eating at the fast food chain on the campaign trail, and often sent his former bodyguard Keith Schiller on secret runs to the Golden Arches. He also celebrated his GOP nomination with a McDonald's burger and fries and a Diet Coke, as documented on his Instagram. Politico previously reported that the president asked the White House kitchen staff to recreate McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese and fried apple pie. If you're wondering, President Trump prefers his quarter pounder with cheese without pickles and with extra ketchup. He also told CNN's Anderson Cooper that he enjoys the filet -o fish and the classic Big Mac. The day before Tiffany confirmed her father's love of McDonald's, a false claim about a him was posted online, although it didnt come from fire and fury. The owner of the Twitter account at Pixelated Boat tweeted a fake excerpt from the book that claimed that the president was a frequent viewer of the Guerrilla Channel, and was upset when the White House television's didnt have it. The excerpt also claimed that the president's staff created a makeshift Guerrilla Channel featuring Guerrilla documentaries, but that the president was not amused. Many people believed that the fake excerpt was true, which sparked a number of Twitter jokes. Actual claims from the book include that the president likes to have relationships with his friends' wives, and that First Lady Melania Trump was in tears on election night, allegedly because she did not want her husband to win. Melania's spokeswoman, Stephanie Grisham, refuted the claim, stating that Melania was very happy when he won. There are also a number of serious claims in the book about the Trump family's alleged collusion with Russia. Former Chief White House strategist Stephen Bannon reportedly referred to a meeting between Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and a Russian lawyer is treasonous. The book also claims that Bannon believes the Russia investigation will lead to money laundering charges. Check out the entire Gen Y series and other videos on Facebook and the Bustle app across Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV.